last week of our craft room chats but today's craft room chat is starting in the car <laughs> I thought I'd go I'm going out for the day today to meet a friend so I just thought I'd start it off I'm sure you know where I'm going with a little chat um, I'm keeping my eyes on the road so I don't really want to look at you but um, I'm going to meet Karen from Stitches and Jacks um, I have had so many questions just recently well when I say so many quite a few um, about Timothy's sweater <laughs> um, so I've asked Karen will she help me um, try and fathom out the pattern I am not a good knitter when it comes to garments and I really do want to make this sweater for Tim so I've, Karen said to me bring the pattern let me have a look at it I might be able to sort of write it down so you can understand it a little bit better um, yeah and we'll see how we go because he really likes this pattern but he has said today that if there's um, one that may be a little bit easier for me to understand or even just one that's um, just stock in stitch he said he's quite happy to have that so we'll see how that goes today obviously there's going to be um, coffee and cake involved um, and a looking around the shop obviously but seriously don't really need anything to be fair I am in the middle of sorting out um, all my yarns and um, all my bits and pieces trying to make more space because I want to try and get a chair in my craft room so I can sit and craft in my craft room rather than just sit at a desk which I don't mind doing but sometimes it's just nice to sit down and to have um, let me just put the heater on and have just somewhere nice to relax I have a little telly in my craft room so sometimes when I'm um, paper crafting I do put um, a podcast on but because of where it is which is right in front of my desk I have to keep looking up and yeah it's not it's not the best place to sit and watch the TV um, yesterday oh I had a lovely day yesterday so I woke up yesterday I was really spoiled to um, Tim coming bringing me coffee in bed I never ever drink coffee in bed and I never even heard him get out of bed so that's how tired I'm. I knew on Saturday that I was I was at the end of my energy and I knew that I needed to just slow down the day after and recharge my batteries and physically and emotionally and I did do um, so it started with um, a cup of coffee in bed which was lovely I know it's just a simple things but for me now simple things are all that matter so I had a cup of coffee in bed um, he took the dog for a walk for me the weather was lovely yesterday as in it didn't rain there was sunshine on and off um, so I went for um, a lovely walk by myself um, much to Tim's disgust <laughs> said to him if you want to go for a walk you can do but you're going that way and I'm going this way a poor thing I think he thought he'd upset me and I said darling you've not upset me I just need to go for a walk just have a bit of time out and anyway it was fine he went on his way and I went on mine so I had a lovely walk and um, then I came home and did some crafting I finished um, Willie the Walrus I'll show you all this tonight I finished my number two sweater I don't know if I've shown you that um, yeah I don't know if I've shown it you finished anyway I finished number two sweater and I've started number three and I'm halfway up the colour now on the main part of the body um, I have done one I finished Beatrix Potter's body and I've done one leg so yeah I'm, I'm doing all right and I did a little bit of paper crafting yesterday probably not as much as I would have liked to have done I only did about an hour an hour and a half but I had lots of orders that needed packing up um, they'll be going to the post tomorrow I have got some other stuff that I'm finishing off I'm going to put in the shop throughout the week I'm not doing a shop update I'm just going to put them in when they're finished um, and yeah that's it what did we have for dinner yesterday what did Tim do us for dinner yesterday you know I can't remember 
we didn't have a Sunday lunch because the girls are coming on Tuesday to our house after school. So we decided we'd do the Sunday lunch on Tuesday for them and we'd all have a nice Sunday lunch together. So we didn't have it yesterday. But I can't remember what we had for dinner. Isn't that funny? Well, it's nothing unusual for me, is it? Let's face it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now because I need to concentrate on my driving. But um, I will no doubt show you uh, what's at Black Sheep, what kind of cake I'm having. Um, yeah, I brought a little bit of sock knitting. Anyway, I'm going. See you later. to make the duck that Elise from Elise Rose Crochet is making and you need a worsted weight so I think I'm going to get that for the duck what do you think well it's going in my basket anyway there's Timothy's cake this is how good I've been today that's Timothy's cake I've got two new balls of the sheepies I'll show you that later and I'm going to get that for the duck. Everybody. Right, I am back home now. It is four o'clock. Um, we left, Karen and I left Black Sheep around two. We was really um, quite early leaving today. I just had a few chores that I needed to do on my way home. I needed to call to the supermarket, to the chemist, um, and just to pick a few bits up. Um, so yeah, I needed to get an early um, set off, if you like, because it's about 45 minutes, sometimes an hour's drive. Um, depending on the traffic, on what the traffic's like. But I thought I would just quickly come on and show you what I've bought. I've had to move upstairs. Tim coming, whistling and singing. It's so noisy. Anyway, so like I was saying, I'm back now and I just wanted to show you. Um, I, I was very, very good. I didn't buy a lot of things. I don't need a lot of things, so I didn't buy a lot of things. I bought a couple of balls of wool. Um which I'm going to show you, and I was really, really excited about. Now, um, I've seen these before. Now, I think it was Dawn from Dawn's Days. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was Dawny that showed me these. Um, and it's Sheepies Katona, but it is. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. It is a self-striping yarn. Oh, isn't that lovely? Like Karen said, isn't that Easter colours? I have no... Well, when I say I have no idea what I'm going to make with these, on one of... I should have took some footage, really. On one of the mannequins at um, Black Sheet Wools, there was a um, Sophie's... Is it a Sophie shawl or a Sophie scarf? The very, very small one made in this. Oh, it was stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, I might make one of them. Who knows? Watch this space. Anyway, so I've got two balls of that. It is called Katona Chroma. Katona Chroma. I like that. Isn't it lovely? 
So I got two balls of that. And like I said, in Black Sheep, I did a little bit of recording. I am making the duck from um, Elise, from Elise Rose Crochet. It used to be Le Petit Saint Crochet. And I have bought a Rowan Pure Wool Superwash Worsted. Now, there was, it's like, um, it's a good colour for a duck. How can I explain it? It's like, um, it's like a beige colour, but with a tinge of pinky in it. You can't really see, it's not really showing up very well on the camera there. But it's a really good colour for a duck. Um, and there was, you, all, you need three colours of the worsted weight. You needed um, one for the body, one for the hat and one for the shoes. But this was £10. That was 9 95 And I thought, I can't justify paying £30 for a little pair of shoes and a hat because I have got lots of worsted weight, i.e. most of it is Aaron as well, for a little pair of shoes and a hat. So I just, I did treat myself to this for the body because I'll probably use most of that. Um, to make the body so that I don't feel as bad as that because once I've used this and made what I want to what are you going to use for the remainder of that so I'd have two full balls um of blue and the green that I wanted almost two full balls because you probably use about 10 grams for the shoes and about 10 grams for the hat so I need to look for a different um yarn uh, in two different colors for that I'll put the picture of the um, little duck that I'm going to make somewhere. I don't know if it's here or here it comes up, but anyway, be one of them. Um, and I'm going to make it in that. Right, so that's, oh no, that's not all I bought. I also bought two skeins of the DMC embroidery floss. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and this is to embroider um, a nose and some eyelashes. Well, I don't know if I'm doing eyelashes yet on my deep, my teddy bear DPN holders. So I got that. And then Karen, so very, very kindly treated me to a tin. I love these tins. Um, and this one is a Janie Crow blanket called Flora, which I am hoping to make. I've got the um, yarn down here to make the Persian tiles. I'd like to make the Flora, but we've been talking as well today, me and Karen, about scrappy blankets. Anyway, we'll see. Um, and I was also saying to Karen, I found a brilliant saying the other day. In fact, if I can find it, at the end, I will put it up for you to read. And, you know, when you read something, you think, oh, gosh, that is so true. So I'm going to put it up at the end, and if... I'm going to let you read it and I'm going to take a bit of heed from it. If I fancy doing it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start it. Like Karen says to me today, it doesn't matter if you start it and stop it and start it. The fact that you're going through the process doesn't matter how long it takes, does it? So anyway, yeah, so that is my beautiful tin. Thank you very much, Karen. Oh, I love it. And as you saw on film, I did a little bit of um, sock knitting. Um, I know this is for the car, but when we're at Black Sheep, you can quite easily do a bit of sock knitting, which we did while we have our cake. Well, actually, we had today, we had, I had a cheese and onion toaster. Um, and I think Karen had a cheese and tuna toaster with salad. And then we did have half a cake between us later on. I think we had carrot cake, the same as I brought home for Mr C. Anyway, so this is how far I've got. I haven't really got that far. I've probably done about 10 rows today there. But it doesn't matter, does it? It's coming along nicely. So that's that's what I've done. Um, I'll quickly show you what I finished over the weekend. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have probably seen this. But this is Willa the Walrus. I don't know if you can see him. Isn't he fabulous? Um, if you're new around here and you've not seen this, it is a kit that Tim bought me for my anniversary. And it is by Rico and it's Rico Rumi DK. And we are doing the Rico um, Spring Crochet Along number one. So I'm guessing that there's another one going to come. Um, and Willie, the walrus, was the first creature. Um, now... As you can see, he's got a wooden ship here 
and his name on his hat here. Um, my husband has a laser printer, so he lasered this for me, the ship and the name. You were supposed to crochet a little ship here, and I'll be dead honest, I didn't like Well, it's not that I didn't like it. It just, I don't know. As soon as he mentioned um, doing me a name, I loved that idea. Where did, oh, I'll tell you where I got this idea from, off one of my subscribers. One of my subscribers said to me, oh, you'll be able to get your Tim to do your nice little shit for what, for, for uh, Willy to hold. And I think that's where it, I got the idea into my head, off somebody else. So yeah, that is Willy Walrus and he's all finished. So the next one comes out on Friday. So I've got a few days yet. And then last but not, no means least, Again, I don't know if I've shown you this. If I have, I do apologise, so I'll do it quickly. But I have finished um, sweater number two. Oops, there's a bit of thread hanging off there. Um, so sweater number two, all finished. Did I show you this? I don't know if I did, I can't remember. Anyway, if I did, I apologise, just fast forward. That's sweater number two. And that's it for today. Um, it's still quite early, but I am going to go and feed Zach. Um, the grandchildren are coming for dinner tomorrow night. So I am going to, well, I think we're going to make a cheesecake for dessert. And I think we're going to make them a Sunday roast on Tuesday. Because why not? <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to say good night for now. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and had, um, been rested up. And um, with a bit of luck, I shall be back again tomorrow um, with more crafting to show you. Right, thank you very much for joining me and I shall see you all tomorrow. Good night.